In principle, I must emphasize that the Apple 30th has no fail. It was a long sunrise. Because of the Apple 30 event, all these things have happened. Certain things, some political action have been accelerated, and that has to be clear. That was not the plan. The plan was for Padrino, Suarez Churio, the high command, Nela, and the generals who were there to go out with Padrino, urging the population to stay calm that a transitional process was to be initiated. And general elections were supposed to be called shortly after, part of the effort to rescue the country. I simply had another role. You have to remember, intelligence officials, we try not to be seen. So what was the role that you were supposed to play on April 30th? Well, precisely, not to capture them, because I already knew what they were up to. Precisely, that was the concern. If the head of the intelligence knows, the first thing he does is to capture you and take you to his boss, in this case, to the president. But in this case, I honor my commitment. I honor my word. I would really like to look at Michael Moreno and Padrino Lopez in the eye. I would like to meet them alone in private, and looked it into their eyes, in the depth of their eyes, and explains to me why they betrayed a nation, why they betrayed a society that is suffering, because that's what they did. They betrayed the people. And because of that betrayal, the events in the makings didn't materialize at the time. Is that possible that they didn't try to do, that they were playing to see who was going to participate in that? I don't know. I have my doubts right now. Because you have to be really, really ruined and way miserable not to see the people's suffering. I mean, how do you explain this to the world? They have demonized Michelle's Bachelet humanitarian report. Where do they live? In Narnia? I wonder if they don't go out and see people eating from the garbage can. That there is a galloping malnutrition that is affecting this generation that lives in Venezuela.